Hello everyone and welcome back to Monaco, what's yours is mine and in today's episode we're going to be continuing on here with Pearls Before Swine but before we do that just a quick heads up I'm recording this in 60 FPS I'm trying a few different things out with this video so there could be some strangeness and weirdness around uh, I'm also trying to improve my quality as much as I can within my editor I've changed some of the bitrate settings around so it may look a little different I'm hoping it, that it doesn't but I think it'll be okay but just if it does then be aware of that so that's gonna be about it uh, for that so let's jump into the mission here pearls before swine and we'll be the locksmith as we usually are do you realize that your story bears no resemblance to the locksmith's confession one of us here out of loyalty and one of us is here because of pragmatism loyalty is for dogs but rats are nothing if not pragmatic pragmatic to what end have you spoken with your superiors in Lyon? About what? Well, as the gentleman continued to run up the tab on the late David's rap sheet, he caught a whiff of excessive pragmatism in his crew. There's a rat in the gentleman's crew. No matter. Rob the art gallery under your assumed identities. Ready? Sure. <clears throat> so this is our objective then here. So we've got to steal seven wares. There's two levels. That'll be our escape right there, so we'll have to remember that. Let's just stay outside, there's nothing really going on there. Let's get ourselves a weapon. Oh, hello. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was not the start I was hoping for. Well, damn it, man. Oh, we kind of already knew I was here. <laughs> I wasn't aware. Um, what would be a good choice? He might be good because he could dig through the walls and stuff. This is one of the exhibits. Please don't see me. Whoa. Okay. So we're, we're hanging around in the bushes here. We might be able to get in there, but no, not really. This isn't really, we've not even managed to get inside yet. I'm not really sure the best way of going about it, to be honest. Hmm? Yeah, 
quelqu'un. Man, there's a key there. There's a guard there with a key that we could really use. <laughs> okay, we don't really need that right now. This is the restrooms right here. Um, so let's get to the second floor at least. So we've been going around five minutes here already and we've not succeeded much, have we? Let's get in this bush. Oh man, that ended fast. <laughs> he might be useful here because of all of the uh, technical equipment and stuff that is available. Hiding in the bush really helped as much. <laughs> um, but we did get a key, so that should help us somewhat. But there's so many guards around here. Oh crap. Let's get the bush. There's there's a lot of them around here. do we even have left? Three? Man, this is difficult. This is really difficult. Mm.
Well, that didn't really work for us. <laughs> so, we do have the gentleman left. Uh, he's ideal for this because he can serve as a uh, as a decoy. We still need to get uh, a lot more of these masterpieces. So we've got to get one out of there. And then, I think, is that it for the second floor? The rest are on the first floor, I think. Just gonna let these guys calm down for a minute. Oh, damn, man. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, there's still another one in there? Damn. We only have two left. We have two lives left here. There's still one up here. There's one down there. Not the way I'll point to that, the screen. <laughs> but yeah, near where it says Surrealist, there's one down there. I think we have them all now, but we only have one life left to get out here. Alive. Yeah, there's two masterpieces left. I'm pretty sure they're both down here. to be. How many keys? Choose that. There's one there in sculptures. Yeah, there's one there in sculptures, then there's one in the top right corner. There's where the two are. But that one needs a key, damn it. We don't have a key. Okay, we can get in here. So we need one of these guards that has a key. Looks like there's one coming this way too. We went in there, damn it. We got it. 
mistake in here. Alright, so we, we got him. Now we just gotta get out of here alive. And there's the escape. There we go. We did it. With one life to go. Oh man, that was tense. Unlocked. Royal Flush. Alright, that was a tense one for sure. So we'll have a go at Royal Flush now. Um, move on here. The Locksmith. Uh, yeah, okay. Wait, you're one of ours? I didn't know we had an asset on the gentleman. I didn't know it at first either. Interpol hired me to beg on the street corner, a block from the Securitech building. Petra and I were supposed to keep an eye on the place. They didn't tell me why. It wasn't long before a man in a suit approached me and asked me to move my operation to the museum. After the gentleman's museum heist was in the news a month ago, I realized I had inadvertently cased the joint for the gentleman. I spent the past 10 years begging in front of every tourist attraction in Monaco. My knowledge of the ins and outs of security allowed us to hit the gallery, the palace, the casino. Why didn't you contact Interpol? I did, but my handler inside Interpol was on the take from David and the gentleman was using his assumed identity to continue that relationship. Word got back to the gentleman that he had a rat in his queue, so he ramped up his the crime spree, knowing that the rat would jump first. The gentleman is trying to spook a rat in his crew by committing more ambitious crimes. Rob the royal palace. Ready? Really? We're going to rob a palace now? Seal the crown jewels. Really? We're really going to do this, guys. There's one actually there. This leads to the crypt. I wonder if there's anything even in the crypt that's, like, worthwhile. Is there even anything in here that's actually of use? Or is it just an area? There's a medikit here. But I'm not seeing anything particularly useful. Torture room? Okay. <laughs> I don't think there's anything useful here. There's a guy coming. Yeah, there was nothing useful down here. From what I could tell, there was just different weapons and stuff. So we got a bunch of coins. There's actually only one coin left there. Oh, 
I wonder. Yeah, a wrench won't let us do anything with that. So now, we do have the key to get in that room. So we've got one of the crown jewels. We need two more. We're still on our first life, which does help. Why are these people being escorted around here? There's a cat there. <laughs> we're going to use the lookout now. We need to get upstairs, I'm pretty sure. It's just the crypt again. get a key at least but I'm kind of stuck here now <laughs> oh dear but I did manage to get a key right I got a key yeah so we should hopefully be able to get in here kitchen swap to bandages oops got some glitchiness going on there Oh, we used all our bandages, but we got to the second floor. Oh, hi there. Hi there. Oh, there's a door there, but it's locked. Southern Hall Royal Chambers. That's where we need to get to. It's stuck behind this guard here. There's a throne room in there. Ah, there's the other two. Okay. So, have a 
Holy God, dude. This is incredibly heavily guarded. Right, this is not as simple as I thought it was gonna be. Um, we need that guard with the key. We need the hacker here, for sure, because he can access computers and stuff. And, yeah, and if we've got uh, somebody who can utilize the computers, we could switch off that stuff. So we got one. We've got one, guys. We just need one more. How much health has this guy got? Very, very little. And how close are we to getting the next one? I don't know. I'm trying to think how many coins we need. There's a medikit in there. We need that badly. Get this medikit. Going here, there's a dog. But that dog doesn't seem interested in us right now. There's another dog there. Is there a power outlet anywhere? There's one there, but that means we're seeing the dog. There we go. Take this out. We've got a bandage now. Now we need to get back out. There we go. Okay, so we're out. Now we need to get back to the first floor. Oh, of course, we'd be here. So that probably works out better for us. So now we need to get to the street level, and then we need to get out. So we turned up here. Let's get full health. Okay, so now we need to get out. There's a key door there. We should be okay. But at this point, it's just literally about getting out alive. If we could do that, then we've done the mission. Qui va là? Je vais te tuer. Arrête-toi, voleur. Get me out, get me out. Oh no, we were at the car, but we just didn't quite have enough. Okay. Gentleman would be good for this, because 
He's got the disguise, obviously, that's going to help us immensely. There wasn't many computers around, so using the hacker wasn't the greatest choice for that. Right, sneak in the bush. Let's get our disguise back. We just unfortunately ended up running into that particular guard, which kind of sucked. Because if we'd have avoided him, we would have been fine. But right now, we're going to be fine. You know, all we need to do is get out and get to the car. There we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. Missed a lot of coins, though. Unlocked. One last job. So yeah, we're now down to the last two missions, so that means next episode we're probably going to be concluding the pickpocket story here. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode, and I hope to see you next time. And until then, see you later, and have a good day.